I'd like to give you a demonstration of Logopress 3's 123 Go software. It's an intelligent component library that puts in the fasteners and the holes with one mouse validation click. It's a SolidWorks Gold certified product, and I hope you enjoy it. One of the key features of it is, besides working fantastic, it's free. Here we're taking from a folder, we're showing you there are no other folders in this folder and we're dragging and dropping an assembly into the SOLIDWORKS window. These are the two toolbars. We'll start by inserting a socket head cap screw. See the blue focus at the left? This head plate, the tap tool plate. Just follow the instructions. Other plates cross through. You can graphically see the hole up here and automatic pattern. It remembers the last setting for automatic patterning. So we change that to four, validate, which puts us into sketch mode, validate the sketch, and we have our screws. And now we'll put in some dowels, the press fit plate, the slip fit plate, other plates cross through, and validate. Okay, oops, I forgot to automatic pattern and change to two positions and move that X dimension a bit and validate and validate the sketch. And there are our doll holes. And you can see that we counter drilled the tops of them we look at the top uh, we look at the diameter of the dowel in relation to the thickness of the plate and that's all very customizable very easy to customize so we just click on that hole and in the slip fit side plate we say well we don't want to counter drill it let's go all the way through and we've got other notes that show up and we've got a size set of 313 Again, all very customizable, or you can override the size just by typing it in. And now we've got straight holes. Now, if you look in our folder, we've created a new folder automatically called Standard Elements. Inside that folder are the two components that we just created. And I'll open the socket head cap screw so that you can see it's very, very simple. It's simply a revolve and a cut extrude no configurations other than the default. Saved in the folder so when you can come back five years from now or ten years from now it's still going to be sitting right there. So great file management. And let's insert another socketed cap screw in this odd shaped punch switch to a quarter 20 all the holes update and in the tap hole side I'll change the hole type to a blind tap and validate automatic pattern switch to one place and it automatically finds the center of that odd shape punch and put in some stripper bolts, stripper bolt base face, length plate, give it a travel, and we end up with a yellow axis. The reason for the yellow axis is because we control things so you can't make things not strong enough, etc. But you can easily uncheck the width control and say, I know what I'm doing. Let me put whatever I want in there. So you can see the, the counter bore is, uh, the wall is rather thin at the bottom. But again, you can do whatever you like. We just try to control things so that uh, for good practice, whoever is designing the job, 
uses good designing practices. Here we've also got position by two edges for patterning. And once we're done with that, we can just simply override the SOLIDWORKS sketch or change the SOLIDWORKS sketch, I should say. And there we've got our shoulder bolts. And we'll put some socketed cap screws in this round plate. And use our position by rotation. And OK. And there we've got our three bolts. Now let's say after a design review, somebody says they want flatheads in here. So we simply click on one or the face or whatever select the flathead and everything automatically updates. We can change the size too if we like. Again, all the proper holes would show up through the plates. That fast. And let's change these to show you the real power of 123GO Intelligent Component Library. Let's change these to hex bolts. Let's put a washer under the head. On the tap tool side, let's put a nut. Just a regular one, not a locking. And the length automatically updates. We put a washer on that. And then on this tap tool side, Let's change the hole size or the hole type of that to a counterboard hole. Again, look at how it updates. And we validate. And I can see that it doesn't look like we're going to get the cross through plate hole in there. So again, it's really nice to always take a look at, at it graphically, zoom in, it's very, very easy to see. So let's just edit that component. And again, it wouldn't need to be the seed pattern or the seed that you select. It can be any component in the pattern. And now you can see graphically we've got our hole. And now you can see that it's cut in there. So there's our assembly with all the holes that quick. Now what if you wanted to delete these? How long would that take? Remember, this is a SolidWorks Gold Certified Package that's completely free. Just visit www.logopress3.com. Dot com. Thank you.